What is good, y'all? It's your boy, The Shows. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Shows World TV. Okay, so I was trying to do a live for some of y'all. You Maybe some of you noticed earlier, but couldn't really get it to work out. So whenever I do get that set up properly, I promise you I will have a very lit live for y'all, man. But yo, so today we're going to be reacting to five scary ghost videos that will make you punch your screen. I paid a lot of money for this laptop. I'm good, bro. Say, so, yo, you want to go watch the original? Link will be in the description. All right, let's get right to it, man. Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. I remember this I channel. I featured in the YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine many times on Nuke's Top 5, so I won't go through a full recap. But put simply, Kent Burris says that he lives in a very haunted house and has recorded many strange supernatural encounters in his home. The hardest things to deal with while living in this house and one of the most frightening encounters are in fact apparitions. Son of a mm. oh, oh my do something. Oh my Yeah, um safe to say this man sees a lot of shadows that look similar in his house. It it, it almost for some reason looks like a vampire. I could be wrong. But it looks like a vampire, is what I'm saying. One night, while sleeping, there was a loud bang in the bedroom that woke me up. I started hearing faint voices. So I picked up my cell phone camera and started recording. One night, Ken hears voices coming from downstairs and records as he heads down to investigate. He is not prepared for what he finds waiting in the dark first floor TV room. What the hell are oh. you? Let me tell y'all something. I see something pop up in front of my screen that's not supposed to be there. I'm getting out immediately. I'm not waiting around to see what's going on. But maybe that's just me or a lot of people who, you know, would see something like that. But yeah, let's move on. The TV has somehow turned itself on. Now, this might explain the voices. But as he pans his camera around the room, a dark shape suddenly appears right in front of the television screen. The shadow figure seems to collapse into itself as it disappears right in front of his eyes. What the hell are you? I did not go back to sleep that night. So did Kent capture yet another shadow apparition in his haunted house? It's the same one. You decide. You can watch this full documentary over on the YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Checking out early. Iraqi fitness trainer Mustafa from the YouTube channel Mustafa Altai says that he heard a strange story about a family who had fled their home in Iraq many years ago because a sinister jinn began haunting their home. The house has been left abandoned for over 60 years, as the family says they couldn't find anyone willing to rent or buy the cursed property. Mm -mm. Mustafa goes to investigate the house with his friend Salar to see if the spooky stories are true. And it did not go well. I bet it didn't. As the two explorers are about to enter the house, they have no idea that something seems to be watching them. Yo, I think I just saw a face peering through the window. I could be wrong. It looked like a face. Now, it's certainly a bit hard to see, but when yes. the video is slowed down and enhanced, a very strange figure can be seen standing at the window. Mm-hmm. Now, it's unclear exactly what this bizarre shape could be, but when Mustafa's camera pans back, the dark figure has disappeared. After the two explorers enter the house, things only get weirder. The two friends hear strange sounds coming from the staircase. They go to investigate, and this happens. <laughs> Yo, 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الذي لا يظلم اسمه شيء بسم الله لا لا تعال 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 بس تعال سلام تعال مو لا اسيكم بس تعالوا اسالوا 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 an empty paint bucket is thrown from somewhere above them, barely missing the two explorers. Mustafa runs upstairs to see where it came from, but his friend Salar heads for the exit. Eventually, Mustafa convinces Salar to come back, but after hearing more scary, unexplained sounds, they both decide to leave. Hmm. Mustafa uploads his video to YouTube, and many of his viewers want to see more. In the video comments, his fans dare him to go back and actually spend the night in the haunted house. So, Mustafa agrees. He returns to the house, determined to stay the night, this time all alone. Mustafa sets up a few static cameras in one of the rooms and attempts to settle in for the night. But before long, Mustafa's night takes a terrifying turn. I just want to point out that I am definitely messing up by watching this at night. But I was super tired from work today, so this was the only time I could get the film. All right, let's keep it going, man. Uncle Schultz, this many men are not my eyes, so it's not. Oh, yeah, I can't even tell you, Uncle Schultz. Who can you go now or who can you go later? So I'm chilling here as well. I can sort of go with you. I'm so chilling as well. I would have left already. Oh, ah. it's time to go, buddy. Mm -mm. A heavy piece of stone sitting on top of the fireplace seems to move on its own. Then, as if propelled by an invisible force, it violently crashes to the ground, nearly landing on Mustafa's head. Understandably, Mustafa is now freaked out. He's only been inside the house a little over an hour, but he decides to put an early end to his overnight investigation. But now here's where things get really creepy. Because the most terrifying part of Mustafa's stay inside the house isn't even what he saw or heard with his own eyes and ears. You see, his static cameras caught video of something strange that he wasn't even aware of. Something downright chilling. Did you see it? Yep. As Mustafa is repositioning his static camera, a dark figure appears behind him on the staircase. It slowly moves down the stairs without making a sound, and then disappears out of sight. But this isn't the only time Mustafa captured this creepy figure during his nighttime stay. Again, a dark, very bizarre figure quickly appears behind Mustafa, not once, but twice. Could it be that he captured the djinn that haunts the home on camera? 
Whatever it is, it seems to change shape, size, and even transparency. So just what is this? Let me know what you think. A haunted ancient ram inn. With a past as dark as the ancient ram inn, it's not surprising that it is said to be the most haunted building in all of England. The mysterious inn was built way back in the year 1145. On Can I just say, these hotels usually have the strangest names. Ancient Ram Inn, then who would have thought? Yeah. ...of a pagan burial ground, and it served as the home to slaves, masons, and workers. In the 1500s, a woman hid out in the building before she was captured and burned as a witch. Years later, the innkeeper's daughter is said to have hung herself in the attic. And as if all that wasn't creepy enough, the decaying remains of sacrificed children were found buried under the inn's floor. The ancient Ram Inn is said to be so violently haunted that when the building was sold to John Humphreys in 1968, his wife and daughters absolutely refused to live there. They moved out, leaving John Humphreys all alone to live in the house. So, British paranormal investigators Sean Kenna, Sean Owen, and Carl Hassel from the YouTube channel Dark Territory travel to the Haunted Inn to investigate the multiple claims of paranormal activity. During their investigation, they hear bizarre, unexplained sounds, and Sean feels something touching his leg. Already, as soon as we're about to begin filming the investigation, something draws our attention upstairs. Sounded like you rolled a barrel or did you work at the inn? Dude, upstairs. Go, go, go. Some nice cameras. I just heard what sounded like movements up here. Is this where you are? Are you the witch? They call this room the witch's room, so we only assume that you, the witch, you're, you're felt in here. Did anyone hear the voice a second ago before you said you're felt in here? No. Nah. Witch, you're, you're felt in here. Witch, you're, you're felt in here. I did not hear that. Uh, I don't know if it's a voice or it was like a, like a cat. Yeah. yeah. Do you used to sleep in this bed, witch? I'll tell you, this is the. <laughs> Fell smart on my leg, man! Someone was on my leg! Jesus Christ, bro! Dude, Touch me leg! Later, as Sean Kenna and Sean Owen are exploring on the second floor, things get even stranger. What little room are you hiding in? Come on, show yourself. I'm sure you're not afraid of me and Owen. Guys, the door just opened. A door to the attic opens on its own and the team can't find any explanation for the strange occurrence. There was no draft and the team had been walking back and forth past the door many times without it making any movement whatsoever. Now, since it has always been said that dark spirits and entities supposedly, quote, feed off fear, the team decides to do an experiment to see if the emotion of fear will trigger even more paranormal activity. So they tie up and blindfold team member Carl and put him in one of the beds in the bishop's room. This room is said to be... See, when people want to test their fate like that, I just... I'm not with that. Clearly, it's taunting you and wants you to stay. Um... And you'd be crazy to stay. I would have left. I mean, the moment I start seeing things opening up and there's no kind of wind outside to indicate that, like, it's, it's time to leave, y'all. You, you really, I don't want to take any chances. And I don't think you should. The most supernaturally active. At first, nothing really happens. And as time passes, Carl seems to grow more and more impatient. But then, things take a terrifying turn. Hmm. 
Carl begins to freak out as he feels something touching his leg. A candle then falls onto the floor. But scariest of all, something unseen slaps Carl on the chest. The violent smack is actually loud enough that the audio can be heard on camera. And with that, Carl is done. In abject terror, he frantically struggles his way out of the rope, binding his legs and wrists. So did the paranormal investigators capture proof of the sinister ghost that haunt the ancient Ram Inn? Let me know what you think. You can watch this full video and many more investigations of haunted English locations over on the YouTube channel, Dark Territory. The House of the Burned Man. Popular Mexican paranormal investigator Alberto Del Arco travels to a mansion in Manzanillo, Mexico. The massive hillside estate has been mysteriously abandoned for over 35 years, and it looks more like a hotel than a home. It features a pool, a spa area, and an amazing view of the ocean. So no one really knows why such a luxurious home would be abandoned for over three decades. However, decades. urban legend says that one of the home's previous tenants perished in a mysterious fire inside the house. Because of this, locals refer to the estate as the quote, House of the Burn Man. The entire property is said to be extremely haunted. Once Alberto and his two cameramen make their way inside, they find the home's design a bit confusing. Ah. Todavía no le encuentro la forma de esta casa. Aquí está cerrado, aquí ya no hay más. No, todavía existen. No, no. Atrás, atrás. ¿No fue un animal? Someone like a child. ¿Algún ave? Ok, pero eso vino de este lado. ¿Soy yo claro? Madres. ¿Fuiste tú ahorita que pisaste? Sí. ¿O no? Sí. ¿Sí? Se oyó muy hueco, eh. Cuidado, sí, retumbó todo. No se nos vaya a caer encima parte de esta propiedad porque sí se ve que está muy dañada. Mira, ven, 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 ven. Ven, ven a ver esto. ¡Oh! Sí. Casi me estrella en la cara, güey. ¿Lo viste? Sí. madre. While exploring the strangely constructed mansion, the team hears what sounds like a child's voice, followed by the sound of a breath. Even though the unexplained sounds are barely picked up by their microphones, the three explorers all seem to hear it very clearly. Next, Alberto has a frightening close encounter with a bat. And after that, the team just decides to continue their investigation outside as they check out the other buildings on the sprawling estate. Ay. Hola. No sé, güey, cómo que arrastraron algo. Buena noche. No creo que haya indigentes viviendo aquí, la verdad. Uy. Está enorme este lugar. Atrás, 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 aquí. Eso fue aquí, eso fue aquí, eso fue aquí. Con cuidado. Puede haber animales, ¿eh? Alberto and his team hear strange sounds coming from inside some of the buildings. It sounds almost like something heavy being dragged across the floor. Yeah. Since the hillside the mansion sits on is almost impossible to access, Alberto thinks it would be unlikely that any homeless people could be living there. Instead, he believes that all of the sounds that he is hearing could simply be made by animals. But even though Alberto is very skeptical, 
What happens next is not so easy to explain. ¿Qué pasó, güey? ¿Qué pasó? Ay, güey, a mí se me hizo ver alguien acá. Allá, ¿dónde? ¿Dónde, dónde, dónde, dónde? ¿Dónde? ¿No habrá sido una sombra? ¿No habrá sido algún árbol? ¿Alguna rama? ¿Lo habrá trabado o no? Sí. Ok, habrá que revisar ese material. Alberto's cameraman captures what appears to be a white translucent figure on camera. A little later into their investigation, and they capture something again. Mm. Ya hay más escaleras que van hacia abajo, eh. Cuidado. Mucho murciélago. ¿Todo bien? Sí. ¿Qué hay allá? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Todo bien? ¿Dónde? ¿Todo hijo de tuche? ¿Dónde, güey? ¿No salen los murciélagos? Huele muy mal. Huele muy, muy mal. Bats come flying out towards the cameraman, but it's not a bat that spooks him. A bizarrely shaped shadow seems to be staring back at him from just inside one of the rooms. Mm -hmm. They go to check it out, but there's nothing there. The figure has vanished, leaving nothing behind but a very foul stench. Before long, the echoing sound of a raging party being celebrated somewhere nearby starts to make it impossible for them to capture clear, uninterrupted audio. Alberto and his team have no choice but to wrap up their investigation. However, right before they leave, they capture something truly chilling. Okay. Con cuidado. Okay, ¿les parece si... si bajamos? Digo, aquí no hay más que una pequeña explanada. No está tan espectacular I como la de arriba, that. quizá. Maybe a Pero se me hace curioso que esté este piso, ¿no? At the time they recorded this, the team says that they were completely unaware that someone or something seemed to be watching them from the tree line. They catch an unexplained figure on camera, just barely visible in the dark. Damn. So, did Alberto Del Arco and his two cameramen capture evidence of That looks a lot like uh, the Grim Reaper. It was a previous video I did where something definitely looked like a, a larger version of the Grim Reaper. Yeah, I don't know. Shadows seem to be very common in these videos. You know, I have yet to see a clear physical apparition happen more often, like in the last video I reacted to from them. But yeah, the shadows seem to be very common. Normal activity at the mansion? Is it possible that the ghost of the burned man, who the house is named after, was watching them? Mm. Let me know what you think. Just passing through. Paranormal investigators beyond the realm paranormal investigate the Alton Railway Station in Staffordshire, England. The old train station was built in 1849, and it was eventually closed down in 1965. So, after over 100 years of travelers and workers passing through the station, it is now believed to be extremely haunted by the ghosts of deceased passengers and railway workers. The five investigators set up motion detectors on the platform close to what used to be the railway track. They start recording, and what they capture is truly bizarre. Look, setting off the motion detector, it only goes off when something walks in front of it. There you go. Straight after you, it's followed you. They do it one more time for you. I want you to follow me exactly where I come from. Jordan <gasps> Bridge Hotel. Remember. We need to do that. No! When lead investigator Nick walks back and forth, setting off the motion detector, something seems to follow him. Then suddenly, a super fast moving white mist seems to pass right through him, knocking him a step back. I thought that's what I saw. We need to do that. No! What's especially creepy is that Nick seems to both see and react to the mist as it passes right through his body. So, did they capture real evidence of the paranormal? 
Could it be the ghost of a wary traveler still running to catch a long departed train? You decide. Okay, y'all, so that was me reacting to five scary ghost videos that'll make you punch your screen. Yo, um, honestly, like I said, the shadows seem to be very common and there's barely any physical apparitions on the channel as it is with the compilations. But nonetheless, the last video made me jump really crazy. This one, not so much, but there were a few little creepy moments for sure. Yeah, man, I would have had this video out earlier, but like I said, I was very tired from work. Y'all don't care about that, but I hope y'all did enjoy the reaction. And if you did enjoy my reaction, right, leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. I make new videos for every Thursday. Once again, this is Shows World TV, so don't forget to hit that bell to be notified every time I make a new video. I want to thank y'all for watching, all right? And, um... Definitely check out my new music video, you know, for Christmas from last year, in 2020. And download all my latest music for free for streaming or for purchase. I got a new single out, y'all. Thoughts for today, 2020, the finale. I just released it maybe two, yeah, about, say, two weeks ago. Yo. And, yeah, man, I gotta go edit this, right? So, if you want more videos like this, then click my reactions playlist right there. And if you want my more recent other videos, like my sketches and uh, my other vlogs and stuff, then click those players right there. I am not so. I'm gonna head up out of here, right? I wanna thank you for watching again, and I will see you guys next time when I upload. See you boy the shows. Peace.